Hey, what's up guys? Jakey here. Today we're going to be going over the in-depth guide for Jet on Bind coming from a top 400 Radiant Duelist. So let's start with the attacking entry path starting with the B site. So for B site, I like to entry from Hookah. Obviously you're just going to take Hookah control and one thing I like to do when I get into Hookah here is I actually like to spam this box right here. Just like that. Just give it a little bit of spam because sometimes if there's anyone playing here you just get a free kill if you just spam this box as you're scaling up. Spam the box, clear hookah as you normally would, and then on the execute, what I like to do is you're going to throw your smoke top site like this, and then we're going to pop our dash and dash into the smoke. While you're dashing out into your smoke, you want to check under hookah in case there's anyone playing under hookah, and you can also Here. clear cubby as well if you're fast enough. So you just want to dash out into your smoke like that and look right, and you'll be able to clear Here. under hookah and cubby. If anyone's cubby, they'll show up on your mini map, so just make sure to look up there. Anyways, after you're in your smoke, um, if you don't see anyone under hookah or cubby, then you know the right side is completely clear, which means you can hard focus on left when you come out of your smoke. You can also use your second smoke to isolate, so if there's um if there is somebody cubby and you want to just isolate this fight as you're in your smoke you can throw a smoke to the left to isolate the left angle and then you can come out of your smoke and fight cubby or under hookah but once i dash top site and i clear everything for my team i drop down this way and then you can clear back site as well and you can take all of this space if you're entering from long um i just like to throw my smoke right here in front of the double stack and then as i'm dashing out again i like to look to the right so i can clear under hookah and cubby um, but you can also flick your mouse Here. to the left as well to clear close left. So you can do left Here. and then you can do right. So you something like this, left, right, and then you clear under hookah and you clear close left of long. And then you can come out of your uh, cloud burst. You can clear cubby from this angle and then you can wrap and clear the rest of sight. Moving on to the A site entry paths, you're mostly going to be coming from short. And what I like to do is you can throw your smoke on top of the pillar right here and then you can updraft dash into it. When you're updraft dashing, obviously, Here. you're going to look right to clear pocket and the close short box, and then you're also going to look left so that you can clear U-Haul. So once again, it's going to look something like this, just like that, and now you're in your smoke, and if there's anyone, you can come out of your smoke ready to fight. And then while you're on top, you can also throw an extra cloud burst so you have more time to look at your mini map to see if you saw anything on the map. But yeah, you can come out and then you can start fighting. Um, and then you can either take U-Haul with like a Sky Dog or with your team uh, utility. Uh, or you can drop down once you're up here on this box. You can actually fight like this. You can see all the backside here unless obviously there's like a brim smoke here. Then you can't see this. But you can also just drop down and then start fighting like normal. Alright guys, moving on to defense. So I actually made a full video on how to play Duelist on defense in Valorant. And you're pretty much going to apply all the principles that I mentioned in that video. So basically, as a duelist, your job on defense is to get information for your team um, and contest angles early to get that info. So what I like to do as Jet, if I'm playing on A, you're, you're going to want to obviously switch between the two sites depending on where you think they go. You definitely don't want to be a static duelist where you just play one site for the whole game. Um, you basically want to just play where you think they're going to go. But on A, I like to fight showers here, you know, fight take this angle and then get all of this info it's pretty important to actually keep control of this section of showers uh, it gives you a huge advantage especially if they're executing all through short just being in showers here is huge pressure for the enemy when they actually execute onto a but yeah you can either ask for here. a brim smoke here if you want to keep this control or you can just straight up duel it especially if you have an op like you can use the op and then getting this line is pretty strong because you just get a lot of information but with the rifle like even when you have this info you can actually just push through if you want like walk all the way and push through and then you can wrap short and go from here to flank and you get so much info if you're able to clear all of this yeah so if you want to fight short there's obviously a bunch of different angles you can do the top truck angle um obviously holding like this i actually like to hold tight especially in higher elos a lot of people will jump spot this so i just like to hold tight because 90 percent of the time somebody's going to jump spot this um, but yeah, you have this angle here where you can you can tuck and either let them up and then swing, or you can just be holding this off rip. You can also play on top of this right here, just holding like this, um, or you can obviously play the U-Haul angle right here. So obviously, there's a ton of different stuff uh, things that you can do here. I like to if I'm opping, I like to op from top truck and then. I like to fall back and what I can do is actually reposition to heaven just like this and then you get a whole new angle especially if you're opping you get a whole new angle onto short so that's something you can do as well 
If you're playing B, again, obviously you want to play a little bit aggro for that info. So either you're going to fight for hookah or you're going to fight for this long control here. If you're opping, you're going to fight here uh, with either util or you're just swinging out dry like this and taking the line. And then you can even move up if you want and take even extra space. Uh, if you're in hookah, you're just going to fight for this control right here. Just keep all of this control of hookah. Um, and then you can also push up as well if there's no presence at B. You can also push up and get into a forward position, something like this maybe. Or you can even get deep, like here, and then to cut off rotates. Um, or you can just straight up go for a full flank. So there are a lot of things that you can do on defense. But the main thing you want to keep in mind is just to take space for your team and get early information. That's pretty much your job as a duelist. A couple more angles I like to hold is with an AWP, you can, if you have somebody playing Garden for you, you can play this angle right here on top of site and hold like this. This is pretty strong as well. Not a lot of people expect this angle, especially if you have somebody here. You obviously, you're going to need somebody in Garden like holding long for you so that they can't just walk up and kill you. But if you do have somebody in Garden holding long for you and you're not worried about it, then you can hold this angle right here. This is pretty strong. With Jet, you can also get on top of the hut right here and play this angle. It's pretty unexpected a lot of the time. You can just kill one and then drop. And then obviously with Jet, since you have dash, you can play these off angles like this as well. You can get your kill and then you can dash out. One more thing is um, using your cloud burst for one ways. So don't be scared to use your cloud burst in like creative ways to do one way. So you can do, you know, like that so that it's hard for them to go through this one way without you seeing them first. So you can use your cloud burst for different sort of one ways like that. Um, like this one right here. You can do that. I threw it a little bit too low, but you can do like that one way right and so they're like blocked off but you can actually see their feet while they're moving up so using cloud burst for like creative stuff like that is uh pretty good as well but yeah that's pretty much it guys that was my guide for jet on bind i hope this video helps you out if it did make sure you leave a comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace